All right, we're here on a wonderfully warm December day um, with the SSCDS um, or Solid State Canopy Delivery System. Um, so this is our 10 reservoir prototype. Um, you can see we're out at an apple orchard here. Um, I'm Tyler Fences. Dylan Nethage. William Burek. Jeff Hilk. And Mark Taylor. And this project is for um, not only the SSCDS project, um, but it is also our capstone project um, for our final design class in mechanical engineering, um, as we will be graduating here in a couple weeks. All right, so we got our setup here. We got our small liquid pump and our air compressor here. So the liquid pump will be used to pump the agrochemicals. We're using water here out of our feed bucket up through the fill line into each reservoir. Now each reservoir has a small hollow polyethylene ball inside of it. And what will happen is as the, the liquid is flowing in, each reservoir will start to fill, causing the ball to float up and seal off on the top of the reservoir on a silicone washer. That will, will allow us to fill the exact amount of liquid into each reservoir. So the first one will fill, and then the liquid will continue to move down and fill up the next one and the next one and the next one sequentially. Once they're all full, we'll turn the pump off, and then we will connect the compressed air line to the top line here, this one inch top line, to evacuate the system. The compressor is set at 45 PSI to allow it to go over the 35 PSI um, barrier um, for the blow-off valves and that'll evacuate the system once we open that valve. So for the next stage of the demonstration we're actually going to show how this system works. So the first step will be filling the line with um, water and I will show you how the, the different reservoirs fill up and then we'll evacuate the system. So the pump is now started up and water is being drawn into the feed lines. And you can see it as they fill up. And any second here we'll get the fill line. And there it is. You see the ball rising and sealing. Next one will fill. And on down the line. All right. So next stage will be to disconnect the pump and the air compressor will be hooked onto the system on the top line. And in just a moment, we will begin the actual application. As you can see, all lines come on almost simultaneously. And very, very quickly, we've completed our spray. The beauty of this system is that you get an exact volume of agrochemical delivered to your canopy because the reservoirs hold a fixed amount. The other nice thing is that the lines are now completely clean because we've run air through everything. So they're winter ready um, and there's very low chance of any particulate being left behind. One of the nicest things about this system is that it has quite a bit less um, agrochemical waste compared to our other system. Initial estimates suggest about an 80% reduction. So this is just a little 10 10 reservoir system, but you can see the very small amount of waste that's going to come back out of this. And this is because we're using a much smaller feed line to charge the system. And that's it. So probably only about a cup of material was wasted in this procedure. Um, 
point of reference, I mean, that would be probably more like uh, three or four gallons in the old system.